Hi, it's America's Beducator, Jeff Shire. How can something so small cause such a large problem? Well, that's something that you hear people say quite often when they get a puppy, but you may also find that you're muttering this to yourself when you're trying to program the remote control to a new power foundation. It can be really confusing. So I thought that I would go over the programming for the Liggett and Platt Falcon 2.0 plus power foundation remote control in this Beducation video. Sometimes you need to reaffiliate the remote control with the power foundation unit. And in order to do that with the Falcon 2.0 Plus, the first thing that you do is you unplug the power foundation base for three minutes to clear the brain. And then the next thing that you do is plug it back in. Once you plug it back in, you have three minutes that it's in the reprogramming mode to complete this step. Then you take the remote control for the power foundation and together you press the head up and the foot up button and you hold those down for two seconds. Then you release them, and then you have to finish this last step. You press either the foot up or the head up to confirm that the base unit actually does work. Let's hold and press the foot up, and we see that the base is moving. We can do the same thing, press the heads up. We can see that the base is moving, so this remote control is now reaffiliated with this power foundation base. Sometimes you have two power foundations and you want them to be controlled with just one remote control. Quite often this is when you have two twin extra long power foundation bases underneath a single king mattress. So the first thing that you need to do is unplug both power foundation bases from the wall for three minutes. That clears the brains underneath each power foundation unit. Then plug both units back in. It's important that both be plugged back in. Now you have three minutes in which to complete the reprogramming. Just take one remote control the one that you're going to be using to control that, and together, press the head up and the foot up button. Hold that for two seconds, then release, and then you have to complete this last step to, to make sure that they work. Press either the foot up or the head up button, and then both bases should move together. We just have one base here uh, on display, but again, if I press the foot up, we see that this one is working, and I'll try it with the head up too. Press the head up button, we'll see that it moves as well. So both bases will now be controlled with a single remote control. If you have a second remote control, just take the batteries out of that and put it in the nightstand and use it as a spare. Now in order to sync both bases, we recommend that you press the flat button to get them both into the flat position and that way when they move up and down, they'll be in unison. Sometimes you'll have a single power foundation, but you'll want to affiliate it to two separate remote controls. Perhaps you'll each want one on your own nightstand. So in order to do this, unplug the power foundation base for three minutes to let the brain clear, and then plug it back into the wall. Now you'll have three minutes to complete reprogramming. So let's take your first remote control, and together press the head up and the foot up button and hold that for two seconds. Go ahead and release. Now place this remote control off to the side. Don't press any other buttons on it right now. Let's take our second remote control and we'll do exactly the same thing. We're going to press the head up and the foot up together and hold that for two seconds. And then release. Now we have to complete the second part of the programming. We have to test it to make sure that it works. So on the second remote control, we'll press either the foot up or the head up button to make sure it's affiliated with the base. Let's press the head up button. We see that the base is going up and down, so we know that this remote control has been reprogrammed. Now we're going to grab the, the first remote control that we programmed. Let's bring that one in. And let's press the head up button on that one. And we see that the adjustable bed base is moving, so we know that both remote controls are programmed to work with this power foundation base. Now one very important thing when you're doing the second part of the programming, when you're testing it to either go foot up or head up, you want to wait at least five seconds in between both remote control testing to clear the brain and to make sure that it's affiliated appropriately with those remote controls.
There's another situation that sometimes happens when you have two power foundation bases and you want two remote controls to be able to operate both bases. So in order to do this programming, the first thing that you do is you unplug both power foundation bases from the wall for three minutes to clear the electronic brains on those bases and then plug them both back in. Now you have three minutes to complete this programming. Then what you do is you take the first remote control and together you're going to press and hold for two seconds the head up and the foot up buttons and then release, then place this remote control off to the side. Don't press any other buttons, otherwise you'll exit the pairing mode. Now let's take that second remote control. We're going to do the exact same thing with it. We're going to press the head up and the foot up and hold that for two seconds and then release. Now we have to finish the final part of the pairing and we have to test each remote control. This is the second remote control. We'll start with this one. Press either the head up or the foot up button to make sure that it's affiliated with the base. Let's try the foot up. We can see that the base is moving so we know that we've done that successfully. We'll set this one off to the side and then we're going to take that first remote control. We're going to do the same thing test the, to test it. We'll press the, the head up or the foot up. Let's try the head up on this one. And we'll see that, that it is working and paired with this base. Now I don't have the second base here within the camera shot but you'd see that that one is also moving up and down. One very important thing to note, when you're doing the second part of the programming, when you're testing it by pressing just the head up or the foot up to make sure that they work, you have to wait at least five seconds in between testing the second and the first remote control. And what that does, that helps clear the brains within the power foundation so that they don't confuse one remote control with the other.